Military teams looking for evidence and answers after nine U.S. service members were killed as two Black Hawk helicopters went down overnight in rural western Kentucky. Two helicopters just disappeared out of the sky and there was a large flash. And we ran outside and we started seeing um, another helicopter that circled that area where I thought the impact was uh, for probably 30 minutes. And then we saw ambulances uh, and Siren. The HH-60 medevac choppers were part of what's being described as a planned training flight for members of the 101st Airborne Division out of Fort Campbell, about 30 miles from the crash site. This was a training progression, and specifically they were flying a multi-ship formation, two ships under night vision goggles at night. The Army has deployed an aircraft safety team from Fort Rucker, Alabama, to take the lead in the crash investigation. We're hopeful that when we get the team from Fort Rucker here and they're able to um, pull some of the data out of the onboard computers that we'll have a better understanding of exactly what happened. Military sources say both choppers were equipped with black box style data recorders. Now, this incident comes just weeks after another deadly Black Hawk crash. Two members of the Tennessee National Guard died when their chopper went down during a training mission in Alabama. Jay Gray, NBC News. Fort Campbell, Kentucky.